Hey, what's up guys? How are ya? It's Jim. Thank you for tuning in to another episode on Cigar Corner, where I do my reviews on cigars. I tend to smoke a lot and on cigars I am about to try. So tonight's review is going to be on a cigar that I've been smoking probably now for about a year. Um, the cigar is a Arendoza Red label. Arendoza is put out by Robert Pops Arango. Um, very nice guy. Uh, he has about four different uh, cigars. He puts out the white label, blue label, the red label that we're going to try tonight, and the Arendoza uh, Defcon. That's a kick-ass, full-body, full-bodied stick. Uh, I will do a review on that. I have a couple. Just received my order a couple days uh, from uh, Pops, and I am as happy as a kid in a candy store. So let's go take a little look at this. This red label by Aaron Dozer is actually a Lancero. I don't know if you can see it. It's quite skinny and long. Not a Churchill. I think this would be a Lancero. I could be wrong. I know for a fact that this sports a uh, Mexican San Andreas wrapper. Um, these are full-bodied cigars, Nicaraguan tobacco. I know that. I don't even have to look it up. I've smoked all of his lines. Uh, Robert Pops, uh, uh, Rango's... Uh, all of his lines of cigars and um, I know them by heart. There's one I haven't smoked yet and I think it's called, um, I think it's the Family Heritage, I believe, not Family Heritage, um, excuse me, it is the uh, Aaron Doe's a fifth year to celebrate five years, I believe, in the business. I have one of those, and I'm also going to do a review. It's not the Heritage. That's another one I'm thinking about. Excuse me. I am wrong. It is the fifth year Aaron Doe's. Uh, I will get to that uh, maybe sometime this week. So let's get to it. Like I said, it's got a nice Mexican dark San Andreas Rapids. I am very fond of doc rappers. I love Maduro, San Andreas. Um, not a big fan of Connecticut's. I do smoke Connecticut's. Uh, everybody has a different palate. Everybody has a different taste. Um, I'm just a fan of doc rappers. Trying to get off this little band on the uh, bottom here so we can get going with this. It doesn't seem to want to be cooperating with me today. There we go. I'm going to cut it uh, with a Perfecto cut tonight. I use, use a, a lot of Perfecto cuts. On the smaller cigars, sometimes the little ones about that big. On the small ones, I'll use like a, uh, a V cut. But tonight, I use a Perfecto. I am just going to cut a snippet off the top. Just enough. Uh, I don't want to destroy the cap. Um... You know, you can see the layers here where the cap is. You don't want to dig deep down in that. You don't want unraveling to happen. Just so you can get a, a nice airflow. And I do. So let's get to the sniff test. It's part of all your senses to uh, diagnose of what, what you have as a cigar. Yep, Nicaraguan for sure. There's pepper and spice in that right away. Let's give a nice little smell, another scent that we have. Barnyard hints. Even some sweet grass in that. All right, so I'm gonna toast up the foot, get to this party, get it going.
Again, this is the second time on video this has done this to me. There we go. They were just working earlier before I came on video. Stupid thing. I think it's getting low. There we go. So I had to toast that foot up and get those flavors, the Nicaraguan flavor inside going. Really? There we go. There we go. About time. Got to fill it up. It's my favorite slider. I use it all. So I get that, the end. I don't know if you guys can see. You see how I get that end nice and red and toasty like that? That's what I'm looking for. And that's getting that all those flavorings going inside. Alright, let's get it going. All right, so out of that, I'm getting a uh, spice right away. And it's, that's the smoke, I, I let the smoke uh, swirl inside my cheeks, um, you know, to, to get the, the, the sensory, uh, the, your glands inside your cheek going. It's all part of breaking the cigar down and, and using your senses to get the whole full profile of a cigar. Yeah, so definitely got the cedar um, and pepper out of that. Let's go to retro. And by the way, retro, for me, that really solidifies uh, the, the profile breakdown because for me, once I, 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 I take that in and go through retro and goes through my sinus cavities, comes down, goes into my throat, you really know by then within retro what you're smoking and, and, and uh, what the strength is. Oh yeah, beautiful Nicaraguan tobacco, pepper blast, cedar. Very binyard hint. I'll tell you, the uh, pepper is very strong. I even get some tingling in my lips from it. Very full body stick. Cool to the touch, constant uh, burning going on. Burning pretty evenly there. Not bad at all. Maybe a little touch-up needed if you're picky. Me, I'm not really picky. A little bit of cocoa hint. It's real peppery though. Very, very, uh, it's loaded with spice. At least this one is. This is probably one of the strongest Arendoza Reds I've ever tried. Um, it might be indeed, because this is the first time I've ever tried a Lancero. Uh, I'm usually doing Robustos and under. Uh, it, it might have changed the whole profile, but this is very, very full body. Uh, uh, the, 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 the Nicaraguan Blast is just going right through. Uh, some salt and cedar is very prominent in this.
It's a nice little smoker. Guys, take a look there. The lighting's horrible, but we got a little bit of gray ash going on. I can definitely say in the past, these are constructed very well. Um, the ash, I'm doing the ash right now, it's going nowhere. Very well constructed uh, cigars. Robert, pa pa Robert Pops, Aaron Go, and his team, you guys put out fantastic products, fantastic cigars. I don't want to call them boutique because I feel like when we, we, we as people call these cigars boutique, um, people think you're talking about a cheap one. I'm not talking about cheap in quality. Um, they're very cheap in price, but not in quality. I have to say seven out of ten times the boutique cigars that I smoke and pick up are absolutely better than some of the premiums and that's my opinion uh yeah very peppery so if you if uh, any of the aficionados out there want a nice full uh body cigar this is yours right here this is what you want to get you want to get the arendoza red it's got a like i said it, it, it uh sports a nice silky um san andreas mexican san andreas wrapper Loaded with spices, very full body. This is your stick. Don't only try this one, try out the rest of Pops online. They're all excellent sticks. Um, I can't get ready, I can't get wait, I can't, uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I can't wait to try his fifth anniversary. I will do a review on that. Um, all in all, worthy of a box split with your buddy. Nice stick, burns quite well. That being said, as always, smoke with you got them, guys. I love you. Peace. And thank you for your support. Good night.